Hi, I'm Firefighter Red. Up to this side of Lots of color, lots of flavor. That's French, but not good. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, we're cooperating. You guys are working hard. Are you coming in soon? And everything's organic. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my gosh. You gotta ring it. You say it, you gotta ring it. All right, we've got a great episode. Our first episode of our next season of Firehouse Kitchen. We're here in Red Hook, Brooklyn at Friends of Firefighters, great charity that was created right after 9-11. They do a lot of relief and support of firefighters. Great cause, look it up online, go to my website, firehousekitchenshow.com, and you can find all about Friends of Firefighters. And I think it's pretty cool. You know, I always have New York City firefighters on, but this first episode of Firehouse Kitchen is with what fire department? Okay, deep breath. Upper Greenwood Lake, Lake Volunteer, Volunteer Fire, fire Company, Company 5. five. <laughs> Upper Greenwood Lake, so Greenwood, New Jersey. Yes, uh, Greenwood West Lake. West Milford, actually West Milford, New Jersey. West Milford, New Jersey, very cool. You know, we're just Bayport Fire Department, okay? That's okay, that's a How about name. New York City Fire Department? <laughs> They've got uh, about 35 syllables in their name. Big thing. But uh, the way that I, we came about is, uh, well, I have I, Bob Donadetto. Bob Borolucci. Bob Borolucci. <laughs> I'm in, I'm really good with these names. <laughs> and I got Martin Olson. Um, I got an email, okay, from Martin a while ago about his hot sauce. You know, this looks like a commercial today for Mo Mountain. He brought his shirt. I got a little sign here. Now, uh, they're not one of our sponsors, okay? What they are is this is a product that supports firefighters. Yes. Proceeds from this go to your fire department. Yes, it does. And, I th and you tell me 100% of the proceeds for the t-shirts go to the fire department. Yes. That yes. is unbelievable. So some proceeds go to the fire department and then the t-shirt sales. So if you want to get one of these t-shirt sales, you can go to my website or you can go to Mo Mountain. Uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Com. Anyway, we're gonna make a little bit of a meal with it, right? Oh yeah, definitely. And we, and we got Bob here, Simon Bob. What <laughs> what are we making today? All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making a baked veal chops pizza oil with potatoes. Uh, nice thing about this meal is uh, you don't need to just use uh, veal chops. You can use lamb chops, pork chops, steak. A lot of people probably heard about the steak pizza oil. Mm -hmm. I grew out of uh, my home. My, my mother used to make the steak pizza oil, of course, maybe with chuck steak, because you cook it for such a long time, it gets nice and tender. This is an Irish meal. This is an absolutely an Italian meal. Oh, I thought it was Irish. <laughs> it's well, wait, it's got potatoes. I said so potatoes. It's got That's potatoes. I, right. I said the potatoes here. All uh, right. So what is a pizza oil? Like what is it? Is it like a, a pizza meat? Is it? And no, what, basically what you're doing is you're, you're, you're treating the meat with uh, fresh herbs. We have, we have fresh garlic, we have fresh uh, Italian parsley, fresh oregano, uh, fresh plum, toma plum tomatoes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be seasoning the meat, we're gonna cover them with the plum tomatoes, and we're gonna bake it in the oven for about an hour and a half at 350. And when it comes out, it's gonna have a tremendous flavor and uh, color and, and texture to it. So what are you gonna do first? All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take a little salt. I'm gonna put a little salt on the uh, Veal um, chops here, you know. I like veal chops. Oh, uh, what do you taste these? We've got a restaurant out by okay. us called Mama Lombardi's. They make this stuffed veal chop that is to die for. Okay, next thing to do is we're going to take a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, I'm going to start cutting up some of the uh, herbs. We throw that into the olive oil, mix it up, and then we layer that over the meat. And we'll be putting the meat into the uh, pan, cut up the potatoes, the mushrooms. It tomatoes. works! Uh, just so you see, we are putting the hot sauce in. All right, we're putting the hot sauce in. All right, so let's go back to Bob. Bob's working like a, like a maniac over here. And we're distracted up here. And we're distracted, yeah. No distract. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's going to be hot. Oh, hold on. Wait, don't close that up. Oh, okay. There you go. Hold on. I got to do it. That's what everyone's going to yell at me for because I'm very unhygienic. You should put your fingers in the hot sauce. It's going to take a little bit. It's a masterpiece. That's, <laughs> that's your bottle. That's my bottle. Yeah, okay, this will be my bottle now. We won't use it anymore. That's good. Now, uh, that's, it has a smoky kick to it. Which is almost like a barbecue, okay? What 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 is that? Smoked goat ghost chili powder. Smoke smoke ghost chili powder. Ghost chili powder. So smoke ghost chili powder, right? So All right. So we just take this mixture that I made here. We're just gonna lay it nice and thick now, on the. Uh, explain everybody what's in this mixture. Okay, this was made um, some extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter cup. Okay. Uh, got three chops, so I think a quarter cup. I took some um, nice um, Italian parsley. Took about two tablespoons. Cut that up. Took some nice Italian oregano, again, two tablespoons, cut that up. I took uh, three cloves of garlic, chopped that up fine, mixed everything in here, put a little Mo Mountain on it, of course. We mix it all up. Now, another nice thing about this, too, is if you got the time, you can make this ahead of time, coat up your, uh, your, your chops or your steak, whatever you want to use, and then refrigerate it overnight. Let it soak in there. You let it really soak oh. in there. 
All right, so now I'm gonna chop up our uh, mushrooms and I'm gonna get to the potatoes, lay everything on there. And then once everything's in there and we're set to go, we have to put it into the oven. 350. Okay. 350. About an hour and a half. You wanna make sure the potatoes half. are done. All right. Um, and surprisingly, now you, you, you see that there, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of liquid in there. No. It, it's gonna be swimming in liquid by the time we take it out of there. It's gonna be all the fat, all that fat on, all on that, there. All yeah. that beautiful fat. I love the fat. Gotta yeah, like, like the fat. Fat's true, got the best flavor, would you agree? Is there I any agree. fat in your, in your hot sauce? No. No. It's, called, it's carbohydrate free, it's unbelievable. Gluten free too. It is gluten free. Very nice. The, fire, the, the, the hot sauce is such a hit up at the firehouse. We, he can't get bottles and bring them up fast enough. I bring them up by the case. He brings <laughs> up by the case the guys are using it. All right, so we're cutting these up. Yeah, now we're these cutting are gonna go these into, up. Now these are going to go okay. into the baking pan? Um, yep, we're going to do is, uh, let's bring this over here. Okay. And we're going to place this right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. He's touching them with his raw hands. Clean raw hands. Clean raw hands. We washed them. Not like one of our cameramen who, uh, who doesn't wash his hands when he comes out of the bathroom. The guy that cooks doesn't have to go to the grill. Let's not waste the oil. Let's not waste the oil. Okay. We're not right. anything. You better clean those hands. No, no. Oh, no. It's, it's, it's it's all everything's going in. Everything's going in. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so self-conscious about yeah. cleaning hands and proper kitchen etiquette. Yeah. Those are the other, like, hate emails I get. I do. I get hate emails. I get a load of love. Ray, you're unbelievable. Ray is so handsome. I get all these crazy. It's really nice. One more potato. Hey. Thank you, America. But uh, <laughs> um, uh, I get these emails that, you know, it's terrible what you're doing there, you guys. And I, you know, I answered one of them. I said, "Hey, man, we're fine. And this is how we cook in the firehouse. All right. It, it's uh, you know, we're we're sad and we're clean, but uh, they, they, they lose their mind. Some of these people lose their mind because you know, I, I you know, we're not chefs. We don't go to culinary school, but I think we're doing pretty good. I think we do well, great. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Every we're meal, fun too. And we're having fun. It's it's it. Yeah. There's, there's nothing like sitting around the kitchen, joking around, having a good time. All right. Yeah, While he right. dresses this up, we're gonna go to a safety tip and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and I'm at the Nassau County Fire Service Academy. And we got all kinds of stuff going on here. But today's safety tip is firefighters. Always keep an extra pair of gloves in your bunker gear, okay? These are extrication gloves, and they work out great, but they protect the hands from sharp objects, and it only takes a second to put on, and they can avoid getting cut and keep you safe. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives. We are back. And this looks pretty amazing. This is getting ready to go into the oven. Okay, I see you cleaned your hands right. with our sanitary towel. A little bleaching water kills all the bacteria. All right, and uh, this looks pretty good. Now tell me exactly what you put on here, Bob. Okay, so what we did is we put in some nice plum peeled tomatoes with freshly sliced mushrooms. The potatoes are all around it. The uh, veal chops are coated with a olive oil, fresh Italian parsley, fresh oregano, and fresh garlic. A uh, little salt mixture. Uh, everything's laying in there now. Last ingredient to go on, some nice Italian imported cheese. My little favorite. Cheese. Cheese makes everything better. Cheese and bacon. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Mo Mountain hot sauce. Oh, oh yes, we can't forget the Mo Mountain. Okay. I gotta get some money from it. Now, what we're gonna do. No, no money, no money. Yeah. <laughs> now, what we're gonna do is we cover this up with a um, some tinfoil. Okay. We put it in the oven, hour and a half, 350. If you get to like an hour and 20 minutes, you might want to check it. As long as the potatoes are soft, you're done. You're good to go. You can pop it out. So everything varies, of course, you know, with different Sounds ovens amazing. and things like that. All right, so we got our foil. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll cover it with the foil. I got to do something for this meal. Go for All it. All right. So I'm going to cover it with foil. And look, I can't even do that right. I told you what they call me in my, my files. They call me pig pen in the, in the kitchen. Because <laughs> I always make everything a disaster. It's like, Ray, can you add salt to that? And it's salt everywhere after I salt it. <laughs> All right, so All right. can you open the oven? Absolutely. Sir? We're going to slide right in, and it's going in at 350. Yep. There we go. Unbelievable. Hour, awesome. from, hour and a half from now? Hour and a half from now. So you know what? We're going to clean all this up. Okay. I'm going to bring Joe on, and Joe will explain to us about He's the engineer of the firehouse. He's going to talk about how your firehouse has all these cool things. I don't want to give up any of the secrets. <laughs> all right, so we'll be right back with Joe. Attention women. Recent medical studies have shown that the use of talcum powder can cause ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. 
A 2013 jury verdict found that Johnson & Johnson, one of the largest manufacturers of talcum powder, had failed to warn consumers of the link between ovarian cancer and talc-based powders, and that their talcum products were responsible for causing ovarian cancer. If you used talcum powder and were later diagnosed with cancer, or if a loved one even died from ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the manufacturer. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney to determine if you may qualify. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call 1-800-823-2752. Again, that's 1-800-823-2752. The only game in town is right here at Resorts World Casino in Queens. We have over 5,000 games on two spacious floors, plus great dining and entertainment. New members can win up to $1,000 by playing Hit Me Blackjack. Take a hit, take a spin, take away free play. Earn points for gaming, dining, and shopping. Resorts World Casino, New York City. Come play, dine, and unwind. If you or a loved one received an IVC filter to prevent blood clots and later experienced complications, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. The FDA warns that IVC filters can move or fracture, causing serious injuries such as heart damage, lung damage, internal bleeding, and even death. Don't wait. Call right now. Call 800-854-9312. That's 800-854-9312. Round two with company five from the lake in New Jersey that is north. What's the name of your department again? Upper Greenwood Lake Fire Company number five. Company five. Company five. That's what we'll call it. All right, we're here with Joe Ponzo. I said Joey Ponzo. Sounds like we got one of the Sopranos here. But, uh, and we got all these Italian guys down there. Is the, is the firehouse mostly Italian? No, it's actually a mix. We, you know, we have a lot of Italians. We have a lot of, uh, a lot of Irishmen. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're good. Yeah. We're good. And it's Scandinavian. And it's Scandinavian. We got, Scandinavian. We, we got a Scandinavian. The hot sauce guy. He couldn't do anything in the kitchen, so he went to the closet and made some hot sauce. Is that how, is that how it went? <laughs> Something like that. All right. Joey Ponzo. Joe Ponzo. Joey's yeah. your son, right? Yeah, You're my son's Joey. Yeah. Um, what are we making? Today we're going to make a kicked up version. We're going to make chicken tacos with our friend here, uh, Mo Mountain Hot Sauce. And uh, a little bit of uh, modifications here, our own pico de gallo, some rice, and some refried beans. So we're gonna take the chicken. I got boneless chicken breast here. We're gonna basically take it and butterfly them open. We're gonna take our cumin, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're gonna season it. Pretty good. Cumin, I love yeah, cumin. Yeah, cumin, you know, you can't have tacos without cumin. I didn't know what cumin was until Firehouse Kitchen. Came yep. About. So we're gonna basically take the cumin, we're gonna do both sides of it, okay? And then we're gonna take Martin's sauce over here. And we're, and, Yep, and we're gonna give it a massage. We're gonna massage all of our uh, chicken here. We're gonna put a, plenty of it on there, okay? That's not the one I had my finger in, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, we put it on both sides, smear it around. Smear. Yep, we smear it around. Once we're done with it, we're gonna take it here and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. Fold it up, put it in a bag, put it in the refrigerator. Can we just close it the firehouse? Yep. Yeah. When we're done with it, after it sits overnight, what I do the next day is I take it and basically, I um, put it in a slow cooker, add about four cups of water to it, and I let it cook for seven hours. Seven hours now? Seven hours, and that's it. It goes in the refrigerator, it gets all nicey-nice, so it takes oh, all the flavors. the fridge, in. Yep. very nice. Put it over there for now. Yep. And here's your cleaning yep. cloth. Yep, got to clean our, clean our hands here because... Uh, we don't want to get salmonella. Yeah, I mean, we got the, the You don't want to eat chicken tacos and then sit in the hospital. <laughs> so that's the that's it on the chicken. The chicken will sit there all night, you know, marinating. We'll put it in the uh, we'll put it in the slow cooker. Like I said, seven hours, and we'll show you what we do with that. Next thing we're going to do is make our own pico de gallo. So we're going to reach down here. Martin, you want to give me that bowl over there? Yeah, right there. Okay. Papaya. All right. So, so some pico, what is it? Pico, pico de, de gallo. Pico de Gallo. So this is my my, my daughter-in-law's version of Pico de Gallo. She's a chef. So basically what we do is we take some nice plum tomatoes, de-seeded with all of the... Jersey tomatoes. No, they're plum tomatoes. Then we take some onions. Depends how much how, how you like your onions. We take onions, we put them in there. Okay. This is Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. Okay. We're going to take some cilantro. We're going to take some jalapenos. And we're going to take some mango. 
I found out that cilantro breaks down metals in your mm -hmm. body. It's very, very good for you. So we breathe in all these different contaminants. So even me, I have a prosthetic hip from my fall. Um, cilantro will help your body clean up all some of that junk, some of those metals. It's like one of those superfoods. Yep. So I had to go into that because we talked about cilantro. <laughs> okay, let's go back. So it's good for bad breath. So yeah. we've cut up, we've cut up, we've cut up some. Something? Are you saying? Do I have? We yeah. cut up our cilantro. We cut up some of our chili pep, our jalapeno peppers. We're gonna take some mango, put some chunks of that in there, right. make it fresh. Um, and then we're gonna squeeze two or three li uh, lemons or limes in here. I'll give you a mango? Yep. We're gonna I'll, take cut, I'll cut your lime? Yep, cut me a lime. All right. I'm doing something again. Be careful, he's got a B knife. They put fire upon him. Look, I actually did something. <laughs> actually, I'll keep that in. Right. I might need that knife again. Am I gonna squeeze the limes right in? Yep, All squeeze right, them right baby. on in there. Oh, baby. Yep. There we go, one. Yeah, and you can mix it up if you'd like when you get... Oh, my bands? They're washed. Uh, don't worry. Nah, I don't know about that. Use a, use a, use a spoon. Use a spoon? Yeah. Not like my, my blue glove tuna where I mush it all around my fingers. All right. It's pico de gallo. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, have different versions of pico de gallo. Uh, okay. This one here has a little bit kicked up. You know, it's got the onions in it. I want to eat right It's got the mangoes. Now. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. You know, I mean, you got natural carbs here. You got little tomatoes. That's yep. about it. So we also have we also have cooking in the back here. We have um, refried beans and we have Spanish rice cooking. Um, you know we're gonna take our taco shells. We got some guys that like soft ones, some guys like hard ones. You know, you gotta please everybody. So right so what we're gonna do is after our um, chicken's done, after the seven hours, I usually bring it to the firehouse because I do that at home Ooh. before I go to work. Um, we'll go to the firehouse and we'll take the taco shells, put them in the oven for about five minutes so they get nice and toasty, um, and we'll put it all together. We'll put it on a plate. We generally set up our bowls like this so the guys can kind of put their own fixings on it. You know, I can't please everybody, so we'll put the sour cream. So we'll put it together. We'll put it together in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it together. Recent medical studies have shown that the use of talcum powder can cause ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the manufacturer. Call right now to determine if you may qualify. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call 1-800-823-2752. Again, that's 1-800-823-2752. The only game in town is right here at Resorts World Casino in Queens. We have over 5,000 games on two spacious floors, plus great dining and entertainment. New members can win up to $1,000 by playing Hit Me Blackjack. Take a hit. Take a spin. Take away free play. Earn points for gaming, dining, and shopping. Resorts World Casino New York City. Come play, dine, and unwind. Tired of food sticking to the pan? You try to scrape it, and then you scratch it. You may as well trash it. Not anymore. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with Gotham Steel, the newest technology in non-stick cookware made with ceramic and super strong titanium. Stronger than ever before. It's like cooking on air. Everything slides right off, and it's dishwasher safe. Watch, you'd never whisk eggs in a non-stick pan, right? Well, you can with my pan. Use metal and never make a scratch ever. No sticking and no scratches. It's amazing. Look, burnt cheese is a frying pan disaster. Not with my pan. Shredded parmesan right on the heat. Plus, use Gotham Steel in the oven to up to 500 degrees. Even fire won't damage Gotham Steel. Call now to get your Gotham Steel pan with titanium and ceramic for $19.99. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-671-6798. That's 1-800-671-6798 or order online at GothamSteel.com. We walk in together and you're talking about your operations at your firehouse. I know you're yeah. the engineer of your firehouse. I'm actually the chief engineer. I have uh, four other engineers. They each get assigned a truck. So I'm the chief engineer. I'm responsible for all the trucks, all the upkeep of all the vehicles. Wow. We do our own maintenance on our vehicles. So uh, it's a it's a you know very hard job, but uh, we have to do what we got to do. We were walking, and as we were walking, we came across something. And I think either Bob or you, or, or Joe, I forget who said it. You go, what are these? <laughs> Those are hydrants, and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I know what they are. They don't have them in their district. There's no hydrants. Right. Yeah, you put out fires by what? Yeah, they have lakes. What's the name of the big lake by you? Upper Greenwood Lake. Oh, Upper that's, that's, yeah, where have, that's where um, the name comes from. Our, our, our basically, what we do is when we dispatch to a fire, we dispatch three fire companies. Every fire company has an engine, what we call an engine, 
holds a thousand gallons of water. Plus we have a tanker. The tanker holds a couple thousand gallons of water. Uh, all of them have pumps too. Our engines and our tankers have pumps on them. They're all good for 1,200 gallons a minute. Um, we show up at the scene with the tanker. The tanker has a deployment pool, like a swimming pool. We take it down, we set it up. It's probably about 12 foot by 12 foot, holds 3,000 gallons of water. We take our tanker and it has a chute on it about this big and we pull the chute and dump all the water in because I can dump 3,000 gallons of water out of a chute in seconds versus having to pump it off you know, from an engine to an engine. So we set the pool up so trucks can just pull right up to the tank, right up to our swimming pool. So we'll have the other fire companies go to a draft point, which would be an engine sitting in a hole down by the water. He throws a five inch hose into the water, sucks the water out of the lake, runs it through his engine and into, into the tanker. And, and, just, come and, refill, and, and they, just keep, the they just keep coming and shuttling water. We recently had a, a big mulch fire. There's a mulch production company in our town, and we shuttled um, over a million gallons of water. Over a million gallons. A million gallons and you're of doing 3,000 at a time. Yep, 3,000 at a, a time. Million gallons. Yep. And you have six, six uh, Yeah, our, our, town is, our town is the third largest town in the state. We're 80 square miles. So to cover 80 square miles, we have six fire companies, and each have three pieces of equipment. And the best one is Company 5. Oh, yeah. All right, so before we cut, and we gotta taste this food. We're gonna get Bob up here and we're gonna eat, eat his chops. And we're gonna eat and we eat these chicken tacos, which look amazing. So we're just gonna push everything together. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we're gonna taste some food. Let's go to a fire fact right now. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray. And today's fire fact is the Siamese connection. You might see these sticking out of the side of the building and be like, what the heck is that thing? This actually feeds the building with water. The fire trucks hook up to this Siamese, which means two can hook up two fire trucks and this pumps water into the building. It's not plumbing that feeds those standpipes that we hook up to in a fire. It's actually the fire truck pumping it into the building and giving it pressure. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is a Siamese. Tired of food sticking to the pan? You try to scrape it, and then you scratch it. You may as well trash it. Not anymore. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with Gotham Steel, the newest technology in non-stick cookware made with ceramic and super strong titanium. Stronger than ever before. It's literally like cooking on air. Everything slides right off. This pan makes cooking so easy. Check out this s'mores recipe. Start with chocolate chips, add sweetened condensed milk, marshmallows, and then bake. That's right, use Gotham Steel in the oven to up to 500 degrees. And then look, it slides right out. Delicious. And it's dishwasher safe. Watch, you'd never whisk eggs in a non-stick pan, right? Well, you can with my pan. Use metal and never make a scratch ever. No oil or butter, absolutely no sticking and no scratches. It's amazing. Plus, make flavorful flaky salmon and real steaks to perfection. Look, burnt cheese is a frying pan disaster. Not with my pan, shredded parmesan right on the heat. And here's a secret. Shape a bowl for a unique way to serve party dips. Even fire won't damage Gotham Steel. Make steak fajita flambe with ease. No burnt stuck on mess. Just a clean pan and flawless food every time. Get your nine and a half inch Gotham Steel pan with new titanium ceramic surface for just $19.99. It includes high end features like a metal scratch guard ring and a solid stainless steel handle. Plus it's safe for the whole family because Gotham Steel has no harmful PFOAs. And we're so sure it won't stick and won't scratch that we're going to give you a huge 90 day money back guarantee. No other pen will give you that. So call now to get your Gotham Steel pen with titanium and ceramic for $19.99. Here's how to order. To order, call 1-800-557-4139. That's 1-800-557-4139. Or order online at GothamSteel.com. Don't wait, order now. The only game in town is right here at Resorts World Casino in Queens. We have over 5,000 games on two spacious floors, plus great dining and entertainment. New members can win up to $1,000 by playing Hit Me Blackjack. Take a hit, take a spin, take away free play. Earn points for gaming, dining, and shopping. Resorts World Casino New York City. Come play, dine, and unwind. Recent medical studies have shown that the use of talcum powder can cause ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one were diagnosed with ovarian cancer after using talcum powder, call right now. You may be owed significant compensation from the manufacturer. Call right now to determine if you may qualify. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. 
Call 1-800-823-2752. Again, that's 1-800-823-2752. My favorite part, the tasting <laughs> from the North New Jersey Fire Department that has a lake in it. Company uh, 5. Company 5. <laughs> company <laughs> lake. Upward Greenwood Lake. There it is. All right. I'm going to, you know, I'm looking at everything. This looks amazing. And of course, we have our little Mo Mountain hot sauce. I got to do a little commercial for this. And uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll go with the, uh, with the veal first. Let's give it a little taste. All right. Unbelievable. Yeah, I just fell off the bone. Mmm. Unbelievable. Mmm. Mmm. Like it, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is so, it's, look at this. I can just rip it apart. It just fall, look at that. I just pulled it right off. That's how, that's how soft it is. Mmm. And there's no carbohydrates. Nah, nah. All protein here. Yeah, all protein. Keep my figure. Mmm. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let me taste one the potatoes. Okay. For an Italian, you make pretty good potatoes. Thank you. Yeah, that's the Irish person thing. Okay. My wife's Irish. Unbelievable. That moment. And your wife's Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So my wife's Italian. So we're like, we're oh, like you're, right, opposite. you're like bizarro fire, by oh, the way. Yeah. You're opposite of what I am. Okay. All right. Let's go with I'm gonna go with the soft taco one. Now we have a it's the same thing. We have a soft taco and a hard taco. Yep. I'll go with the soft taco one. I'm sorry, this is gonna be messy, but that's just how firefighter Ray rolls. Oh man, here we go. So Mm -hmm. It's like a taco sauce on steroids. <laughs> Holy cow. This is delicious. And the most hot. Mm. It's like those chili, so mm. It's kind of hot. <laughs> That's the mm. slogan. Mm. Kind of hot, kind of smoky. Moe's. Guys, thank you so much. Give me an elbow. I can't, I can't shake any hands. <laughs> Thanks for having my us. Hands. Thanks for having us, Ray. Thank you very much. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. To find out all the charities that we raise money for, you can go to firehousekitchenshow.com. Friend us on Facebook. Uh, you'll find this recipe there, and I'm getting better at putting my recipes up. Don't worry, it's gonna be good. Um, it's just a very, very cool thing. Guys, this is unbelievable. I, I'm coming to your firehouse next season. You're welcome no anytime. All right, that's cool. I wanna see all, I wanna see all these, uh, that, that, that drawer. We'll do some fire packs with the, with the super engines that shoot water out. It is gonna be <laughs> awesome. So uh, that's it, and we will see you next time on Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. All right, very, very nice, excellent job. All right, we gotta clean the dishes, all right? Let's do it, very good, guys. But first, I'm gonna finish this, and look at this. I'm just eating chicken, it just fell out of the box. Oh my God. All right, very good.